Yo, alright, um, what's up guys, my name is Logan, um, I've done some YouTube videos before, but I'm gonna start off new, kind of, and, uh, do a sequel, uh, it's something I'm trying out, something I wanna do, um, I really wanna just, um, you know, make this as a sequel to, um, inspire others, um, put out the things that I've been through, that I've struggled through, with a lot of different topics, and just to kind of hope, you know, that maybe, you know, even just one person can relate that, um, you know, that I'm out there trying to make a difference. Um, just feel like there's a lot that I can contribute, and just by telling the story, a lot of times you don't realize just how much that can affect uh, someone else. So, um, I guess the first thing that I'm going to talk about, there's so much, which, like, I didn't even know where to begin or where to start with this. Um, I have my little book here, but... Uh, like, um, I was, you know, talking to a friend, and um, I'm like, I don't know where to start, but I just, I have so much to tell, and I have so much to, to say, um, but I guess the main thing that I'm going to start off, because of it's who I am, um, is self-identity. Um, self-identity um, doesn't have to just be sexual orientation, gender, or anything. It could just be, like, you and how you self see yourself how you identify yourself just as a person um for me self identity to me um is uh gender um i'm 24 and i am transgender i um was born female transitioned to male i'm still currently in my transition i'm actually only 6 months into this transition um and that's kind of what I want to talk about with this video, just I feel like to know me and have a little backstory on me to kind of know a little bit who I am um, would be kind of the way to start this off. Um, basically, um, with me being trans, um, I battled this for a long time. I battled um, with what is trans, why is it a thing, um, you know, and... and uh, for the longest time, I just thought I was a tomboy, and I was this, and I was that, and um, as I went through high school, um, you know, and I got out, went to the military, and I'm just like, nothing ever set right with me, nothing ever really felt right um, that I was born a female. Every time I look at myself, I was like, I thought I was weird, because I'm like, why do I have this things on my chest? Why do I have, like, this voice that's like doesn't match what's going on in my head and for a while I battled that because I'm like you know when I was 14 I came out to my mom as I like girls so I like I was gay you know like and uh then like all over again having to come out like as trans and it's like you don't have to come out um you know for anything I feel like you know it's just it's just who I am but anyway I basically just like battled for a while deciding like if that's who I was and what, you know, was going on in that aspect. And um, a lot of that took, a lot of the reason I battled that was um, thinking of acceptance of family, of friends, um, accepting it just myself um, and not thinking of it as a weird concept because I did at first think like it was a weird concept, like trans, what is being transgender? Like, you know, no, it just, it is, you know, what it is type of thing. Um, but, uh, you know, and I really look at it as, like, people are like, you're trans, like, oh, like, you want to be a male, like, you want to be a boy, and it's like, I mean, like, I don't want to be a boy, like, I am, like, that's how I feel, you know, inside, and that, that's who I am, and that's, that's, um, you know, that's how I've always been, you know, and it's kind of like, uh, it's like, like, do I, do I choose, do I want to have to, like, give myself a shot every week of hormones, like, have to do that for the rest of my life to fully, you know, look at myself in the mirror, and, feel that like my outer appearance matches what's going on in my head and what's going on in my heart and I explained it to someone as if like okay like people get um like um boob jobs and butt jobs and stuff like that and it's like those people look at themselves in the mirror and when they see like that part of their body they're like that's not how I envision it or how it feels inside so they go and get a surgery to match how they think that it should look and kind of almost in a way trans is like almost the same thing it's a gender dysphoria it's a body dysphoria it's you know and what you feel on the inside and in your mind and in your heart and in your soul for some reason is just not matching on the outside 
and um, for the longest time I was miserable. Like I remember being a kid and like I never wanted to say I was gay or like I was this and that. Everyone asked me, so are you gay or are you like both? And I'm like, I'm just Logan, like I'm just me. Like I, I didn't want to identify with a certain type of like, you know, stereotype or like some sort of like stigma. You know, it's like, why does there have to be a stigma, a stereotype of something on anything? I couldn't understand. Um, you know, so it, it's like, you know, and the older I got, it's like, the way I came out as trans was, wasn't really like, I guess, a way a lot of people do. I kind of, um, I was going through some tough times in my life, and we'll get on that video on another, on another, we'll get on that topic on another video. But, um... <laughs> I kind of was, I was drunk, and I was, like, um, on some medication, and I was just, like, had, like, no fear to say whatever, and I just kind of put it out there on Facebook, and was just like, hey, I'm trans, by the way, call me he, him, and this is that, this is what it is, because I didn't feel that I owed anyone an explanation about anything, like, this is my life, and this is who I am, I don't owe you an explanation, you know, like, and you don't. You don't owe anybody an explanation for anything that you do with your life and that makes you happy. I still have the respect and the decency enough, you know, for different things. But it was like I didn't care, family or not. And, you know, my family kind of got upset with me that I didn't just tell them first and I put it on Facebook. But at that time, it's just kind of how I needed to do it and how I could do it. And so that's what I did. I made a Facebook post about it. And um, that's just kind of how I came out about it. I came out about it in 2019. I've known, you know, a little bit about it for a while, um, but I just could never accept whether I was going to do it or not. Um, you know, so, and I've been back, uh, I was on the hormones. I started um, April 6, 2019. I was on them for three months, and then I had to stop them for 10 months. And I finally started back again May 6th of 2020. So I'm now I'm coming up in two days, coming up on my six months being back on hormones. Um, the next step in my transition is to get top surgery. Um, my goal is to have my top surgery by my 25th birthday. Um, and it's like, it's weird because it's like, I used to tell myself like, dang, if I could just start hormones, like everything would be great. Like, I don't understand why guys who are on hormones stress about top surgery. Like at least they're on hormones. And that was coming from me because I wasn't on hormones. Now that I'm on hormones, it's like, when's my surgery? I need the surgery now and this and that. And I can tell other pre-T trans guys like hey listen it will happen for you be patient but it's like every trans guy says that like all the trans guy who would tell me that before I started testosterone was like dude just be patient like you're gonna start T it's gonna happen for you and like at that time it's like it's never gonna happen you know and like it does it does happen everything does so here I am another one telling if you're watching your pre-T it will happen for you um but I'm sure you hear that from just about every Pretty guy that there is, you know. Um, uh, base in too, like, uh, so like my family, they're pretty decent with it. Um, they try, you know, like the pronouns are a little difficult, um, but they acknowledge it. And when they do say their own pronoun, they most of the time try to correct it and, um, you know, try to get that right. So that's great. Um, mostly I don't get mad about it when someone misgenders me if they do it on accident and acknowledge it. Um, but if you're just doing it purposely to be hateful, then, you know, it's, yeah, I'm going to get a little pissed off about it, you know. Um, but for the most part, I don't struggle with that. It took me a while to, um, people who don't know me, I don't usually get misgendered a lot out in public. Um, sometimes I do and sometimes I don't. And um, I don't necessarily correct people. Um, I'm starting to get to that, but it's like, um, you know, I'm just starting to pass more and more, so as time goes by, the more I'm on my shots, the more changes I go through, um, I won't get misshapen as much. It does happen, but not a lot, so I'm thankful for that. Um, you know, I've struggled a lot with, do I want to be openly trans, or do I just not? And that comes with some pain that I went through when I was in the military, and, you know, and as I think about it more and more, I do want to be openly about it, because... I am trans. I'm a trans man. And I'm proud of that. I'm proud to be trans. I'm proud to be who I am. Um, you know, and I shouldn't be scared to say that or to have that public side publicized or, you know, I don't just go around and be like, hey, guess what? I'm trans. Hey, guess what? You know what I'm saying? Um, but, um, like, I catch myself a lot, like, 
like uh, asking my friends like oh you didn't tell them I was trans did you or like oh you didn't tell them like you know da 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 but it's like at the end of the day like no I don't want you to just be like hey this is my friend Logan he's trans like no not do that you know but like you know I'm trans and I'm proud and I think I can finally say that um not that I was ever ashamed of it but it was like I just wanted to fit in like all the other guys and just be a normal guy and it's like a trans man is a normal guy you know you're still a man you're still you're still you um there's always hate there's always going to be someone to tell you different and knock you down and bring you down but no matter what you stay true to you and stay true to yourself and that's you know and that's all that matters is, is that um i've definitely faced some challenges um with trans um i've been fired from jobs from being trans um of course not openly admit that was the reason you know um and that's what's um made me very um hesitant to disclose that I was trans um you know I would just always feel out that I was a male in the application and when they see my license they don't really question about it but they kind of know but like um from now on out I think you know when I go to jobs I'm like hey listen you know I'm trans this is my pronouns and um this is why my license is different um I'm working on getting all that switched over you know to properly match my gender um but there's no reason why I shouldn't be open about it. There's no reason why I should be embarrassed. There's no reason why anyone should ever be embarrassed for who you are. You stay true to you. Don't worry about what anyone will say, not even your parents or your family. You have to genuinely make your soul happy because if you don't, you will be miserable and you will get caught up in the things and people that aren't good for you. Like I know for me, like I, I feel bad. I was wondering if I'm an alcoholic or not, but I know that... Um, I know that like the worry of trying to get everyone accepting you is miserable. Um, I've been there. I've done that. And I'm at the point now to where like I'm me and this is who I am. And you can be a part of it and grow with me and watch my journey or you don't have to be a part of it. Um, because I don't need your approval. I don't need your acceptance. I need acceptance for myself. And once you have that, the people who love you and good people who are similar to you will surround you and that will come. You don't need anyone in your life who doesn't value you or appreciate you or respect what you're doing. And, um, you know, it's kind of sad because I had a, my, one of my own family members, um, you know, I still want to be respectful and put that out there. But I was told that um, it takes no courage in doing what I'm doing with this transition. And I just got chills just saying that. But. I think it does take courage because it's not that I want this for me. I don't wish this for anyone to have to go through this identity and go through these questions that trans men and women have to go through. We're proud of it and we're very strong people because of it. Um, but do we wish we were just you know, privileged enough to be born in our right bodies? Of course we do. But we embrace it, you know, for me at least. And um, and it's it's definitely been a challenge. And it's something I've struggled with um, and have. But now it's like, this is me. I'm trans. I'm happy. I love myself. And I'm going to do whatever that takes to keep loving myself. Um, I've seen something. I don't know where it's from. And I hope I'm not taking it from anybody. But I've seen something. And it said, um, love yourself like you loved someone else, that ex or that person you're with now, or that toxic person who didn't love you back, but the way you loved them was so unconditional and so freely and so genuine that you did anything for that person. Love yourself the way you loved that person because who you're looking for is yourself. You've been looking for all of this love and all of this and this person. But you're looking for yourself and you've got to cherish yourself and value yourself and worship yourself. Yes, worship yourself. <laughs> um, you know, but, um, you know, the criticism and everything that comes along with it is all part of it. And unfortunately, it's part of the life that, you know, us as trans live. And, um, you know, and that's okay. Um, you know, another thing that I struggle with is, you know, I'm six, six months back on testosterone. I'm constantly looking for changes. 
Okay, no matter how much you can say, don't look for changes, they will come, and the more you don't look for them, the more that they come, but let's be real here, okay, like if you're a trans dude, trans woman, whatever, you know, or even not, let me just say, you're gonna look for changes regardless of how much you're told not to, how much I don't think I do, I do catch myself not thinking about them so much, but at the end of the day, I'm always kind of looking for something, and then, but then when I look back, I can see the changes that's developed over time, that I wouldn't see if I didn't take pictures or document things. I always document everything. I was real, you know, real strong on posting everything, voice updates and everything, but I still do my videos, just don't post them as much, um, you know, but looking back at the changes and seeing different changes, I, I you know, I can see things and I, I notice different things here and there. And sometimes, you know, more than others, I notice things. Um, and uh, one last thing, I guess I'm going to kind of wrap it up, but like another thing is like, um, you know, as being trans, like I questioned my, no, I didn't question my faith, but like I had people question me about my faith. Like, oh, you're trans, you're this, and you're a Christian, you still believe in God, and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, like, I respect everyone, whoever, whoever you believe in, if you're higher power, if you don't, or whatever, but I, I do believe in God, I believe in the Bible, and there's certain things that, um, you know that I do believe and they say God doesn't make mistakes there there it's only man and woman and this is that and this is that you're right I don't believe that God makes mistakes and I believe that I'm exactly who I'm supposed to be and exactly where I'm supposed to be out of my life and I love people and I want to help people and I try to live the right the best way that I can um by him and by and, and just love people and accept and know certain things so yes I can be a Christian and be trans at the same time so yes if you're wondering that and yes, you can. Um, I don't feel that my God does not love me because of that. Um, you know. But um I just yeah. Basically, um, that's who I am. This is me and um, I'm Logan and I wanna help people, I wanna do things and I hope that um beginning to speak up and then use my voice that hopefully I can reach out and make a difference to someone else as well. Um, you know, if I do, I don't, I, if I do, I do, if I don't, I don't, but still, this is still my story and I want to put it out there and I wanted to start with identity because that's who I am and uh, who I am today is, um, from everything that I've been through, um, and I've went through a lot of things and we'll go through different topics and, and discussions and, um, as we, um, as I go on with this sequel, but, um, to get to know me, um, that's me, this is who I am and trans proud truly truly am and I just want to say that whoever you are find yourself love yourself and don't let anyone dictate that don't let anyone dictate who you are who you want to be um, who you've always meant to be um, I'm 24 and I wish that when I was 18 that I would have uh, that's the only regret I have is I wish I would have started my transition earlier and not been afraid to be who I am but I had to find myself, too, because I was a little confused. I still sometimes am. I'm still growing. I'm still not perfect. Um, and, you know, with doing these videos, I'll grow even more. And uh, I just wanted to, uh, you know, just kind of put that out there. So um, I hope you guys liked it. Um, if you can, uh, just make some comments below if you want. Any questions, I'm up for anything. I know there's going to be some hate comments, some not. Um, I'm up to do any type of questions, um, anything. Subscribe to it. Um, share it, whatever it is you can do to show your support. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And, uh, you'll be hearing more from me, whether you like it 